In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this or this. We all have AI generated images with Midjourney or Dali or Grok. But unless you're creating images of Elon Musk or your favorite politician, good luck trying to get consistent images from these models. However, imagine if you had the ability to train your own model with any object, style or concept, including yourself. Of course, it's not just about reimagining yourself as a superhero or a villain if this is your style or creating the perfect digital avatar. It's also about having a lot more control over your creations, which can open a world of creative opportunities. Whether you're a student creating creative content for a presentation, a business that needs consistent images of its products for its branding, creating a how and inspired invitation, a spoof of a famous show, and of course, most importantly, turning your boss into the Grinch for the company Christmas party, fine tuning your model can make things much easier. It may sound complicated, but it's actually very easy. In just a few simple steps and in less than five minutes, I'm going to show you how to fine tune your own model and get started with creating your masterpieces. As a bonus, we'll be using one of the most powerful open source image generation models, Flux AI. Yes, the same model you can use on X to create images with Grok. And apparently it's also completely unhinged and uncensored thanks to Elon Musk. Let's get started. But first, what is Flux AI and how does it work? Flux is an open source text to image generation model developed by Black Forest Labs. This is a company founded by the creators of Stable Diffusion. The key here is that unlike Midjourney and other closed source models, this model is open source, which means that you can modify it and build upon its architecture. Flux has several versions. The newest model, codenamed Blueberry, seriously, what's up with all the berries, was just released and it outperforms all other models on the ELO leaderboard. For this tutorial, we'll be using the dev model, which came out a few months ago. To find you on our model, we're going to be using LoRa, or Low Ranked Adaptation, which is a technique developed for fine-tuning large language models efficiently. The key point here is that LoRa will allow us to fine-tune the Flux model with our own images and then apply different artistic styles, context, and so on. Okay, so let's get started. To fine-tune Flux, we're going to use replicate.com. It will cost about two dollars to train the model and then about four cents for each picture you create. So 100 pictures is going to be about four dollars. Once you log in and create an account, click on Explore at the top left corner. Then click on Get Started just below Fine Tune Flux. If you don't see this picture, search for Flux Dev LoRa Trainer in the search bar. Then select the model below. And you're ready to train your model. To do so, you'll need about 10-20 pictures of the object you want to clone. This could be anything. In my case, I'll clone myself. It's good to have a variety of pictures, different angles, full body shots, selfies, different context scenes, and so on. To simplify things, here you only need to do three things. For the destination, come up with a name of your model. For example, I'll create a new model using my name Boris Nikuaev. This way, I can easily find my model later in the dashboard. Next, you can create a zip file with your pictures and load them into the model in the input images section. If you have a Mac, select your pictures, then right click and select compress. And then simply drag and drop the compressed file into the input images uh, box. Finally, create a unique trigger word. Your trigger word should refer to an object, style or concept you're training on. Pick a word that isn't a real word so that the model doesn't get confused. You can use your first name, uh, downward slash last name. This is what I'm going to use in my case. Then when you use LoRa, you can use the, this trigger word so that the model knows what kind of image to create. All right, uh, leave all the other options at their default value and you're ready to go. Click Create Training at the very bottom of the page. And in about 20 minutes, depending on how many pictures you use and how big they are, you have your fine tuned model. Once the model is trained, you see a screen like this one. Click Run Trained Model and you're ready to make your first AI generated picture. Let's try it on. Creating your AI generated images is easy. Just write a prompt and then wait for the model to create the image. I use 16-9 aspect ratio for most of my pictures. Uh, you can also set the width and the height. I set mine to the maximum available. You can use the Schnell model, uh, which is much faster and cheaper, but I find the output to be almost unusable. So I kept mine on the dev model. And I set up the output to JPEG. 
You can also play with other settings, for example, the strength of your prompt, the, out, the number of output pictures and so on. But these are the only settings I usually change. All right, so here are some pictures that I generated. All right, your fine-tuned model is going to always appear on your dashboard. Once you click on dashboard, you can scroll down and you're going to see all of your trainings and models. And all you have to do is click on the model and then you're ready to use it. Here are a few tips. You know, uh, I noticed that the model does much better when you use the trigger word at the beginning of the prompt. So I usually put my trigger word, which is my name at the beginning of the prompt and I'm more likely to get an image that resembles myself. In my test, the model produced usable pictures uh, probably one out of five times. So you need to experiment and, and be patient. Uh, you're not going to get the picture you want right away. Um, so I would say out of 50 pictures, um, maybe 10 of them were really good and usable. And here is a final tip. You can use Cloud or ChatGPT to create a prompt that can help you achieve better results just copy and paste the meta prompt that I'm including to the description to this video below, modify it and customize it so it fits whatever you want to achieve. And then you should be able to get a prompt from Cloud or ChatGPT that can help you get better pictures. And here's a bonus tip. You can animate yourself using Runway. Just drop your superhero picture you generated uh, with Flux in Runway and ask Runway to create some explosions in the background. And now uh, you're a superhero in action. All right, so let's wrap it up. Being able to clone yourself is amazing. It's super cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to start in their own superhero movie without leaving the couch? However, imagine the implications of this technology. Someone can now download a handful of pictures of you from Instagram or Facebook, train an AI model in minutes, and then use the model to create relatively realistic images of you without your consent. So this is incredibly disturbing as much as it is cool. Yes, I know the temptation to turn your boss into a potato or make yourself the star of Breaking Bad uh, is real. But please use this technology responsibly. Always get consent when using other people's images. Label AI generated content clearly. And most importantly, use this technology for positive and creative purposes. Spread the cheeries. All right, well, thank you for watching this video.